What's up guys, Infinite Craft Films here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run Fallout 4 on your PC um, easily. Now, I don't have the best PC in the world, but um, check out my specs in the description. With those specs, I get about 45 to 60 frames running on almost max settings. So I'm going to show you how I'm able to do that, and um, yeah. First off, when you start up Fallout 4, it's going to bring up a menu that says it's like detected your PC specs or something like that and it's automatically adjusted the uh, settings based on what you have inside of your computer. Um, now if it still doesn't work after that, you can come into options here, uh, anastropic filtering, you can turn that down, anti-aliasing, you can turn that down. Um, if you really must, you could turn this down to 1280 by 720 or basically half of your monitor size. Um, I do have a 1920 by 1080 monitor and this is half of that, so you could turn that down if you need to. Um, right here, you detailed turn that to low or any of these. Mine is set to high, but uh, these are the settings that I have. Um, motion blur and... Um, Ambient occlusion, that's one that really, really uh, messes with your graphics. So you could turn it off. Turn you could turn it off. Um, these obviously the texture quality, you could bring those down. Um, just bring them all the way down or tweak them to what best fits your computer. Uh, you, you always want to run in not windowed mode, you want to run it in full screen. Um, and yeah, that's one of the things that you can do. And the other thing that you can do in Fallout 4 is you want to right click on your desktop and click NVIDIA Control Panel. Now this only works if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, and this does usually take a while to load, so yeah, here we are. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, once it loads up, you do want to click Manage 3D Settings. And you want to go to Global. Um, and you want to copy these settings down. Now you need to update your NVIDIA, the GeForce experience, possibly if it's out of date, but all of these should be the same on your computer. Just copy all of these down. Now this one right here, uh, you want to turn this, um, you want to turn CUDA, you want to turn, no, no, not this, what is it? Where is it to go? Um, which one is it? Okay, never, never mind about this. Uh, just leave this B. You don't want it to be 2.00. Um, just leave that B. Um, just copy all of these down. Now, obviously, if you don't have a, if you don't have dual monitors, just leave this on single display performance. It doesn't really make a difference if you have two, and leave it on that. Um, power management mode. Now, if you are struggling to get frames, you can turn this to prefer maximum performance, but it's really going to stress your CPU and GPU. Um, now, the rest of these, uh, vertical sync, if you're getting screen tearing, um, that's where when you move around and you just see it like, not really tear, but it just glitches a lot, you want to turn this to on. Um, and yeah, just copy all of these settings down. Anastropic filtering, you, you can turn this off, but this is just what works for me. And then you just want to come down here and click apply, and obviously this is what I have for mine. And if you don't want this for global, this affects all of your programs. If you don't want to do that, go to um, program settings, click add. And this also normally takes a while to pop up. Okay, so once this finally loads up, Sorry for the birds in the background. Um, you just want to click Fallout 4, and you want to click Add Selected Program, which I already have that here. Um, or you could go through here and select from your programs. And you could just copy all those settings that I just had for this. That means it'll only have it for this program, but global means it'll have it for all programs. Um, if you're still having trouble, you may want to upgrade your PC. Uh, make sure all of your drivers are up to date. And um, yeah, that is how I get very good frames for the computer I have on almost ultra graphics. Um, 
I thank you all for watching. If you'd please leave a thumbs up if this video helped you and a comment if you have any questions. Uh, subscribe for more Fallout 4 content and if you don't have the game already and you're waiting for it, go check out my series, my playthrough. I should have one or two, possibly three videos up by the time this video is out. Um, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.